Hello? 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 <laughs> welcome! Hi everybody! Uh, Hi! Welcome to the Mob Psycho 100 and Friends panel. Uh, is it and Friends? Uh, well, oh, yeah, well, I guess well, we're, if, we're, if Mob Psycho 100 is a person. That, yes. Yeah. He, he is. He is a psycho. Yeah. 100% to him. Sure. Uh, welcome everybody! Um, so, uh, but we we're expecting one more person to be joining us momentarily. He'll be here, yeah, he'll be here in a minute. Uh, but, uh, let's start with introductions. Yeah! Hi! I'm Kyle McCarley. I am the English voice of Shigeo Mob Kageyama in Mob Psycho 100. Tell us how much fun that you're into. Okay, I, uh, you might also know me as Mikazuki August in Mobile Suit Gundam Iron Blood Orphans. Woo! Uh, oh, thank you. Uh, and, uh, uh, 9S in Near Automata, uh, Alm <laughs> uh, in Fire Emblem Echoes, uh, Shinji Mato in Fate Stay Night, Ryo in Devil May Cry Baby, uh, yeah, that's a great one. definitely gotta get some autograph prints for Ryo. <laughs> uh, uh, and then, uh, uh, some other stuff. Yeah. Moving on. Uh, I'm Chris Neosi. Uh, some of you guys in the audience might know me also as Kurt Prefer, but I hope you don't. Was the new star of the Paranormal World, Regan Artaka, in the English dub of Mob Psycho. Uh, love the show very much. Thank you. Uh, other things you might know me from, uh, I have a whole bunch of different characters on OKKO, Let's Be Heroes, on Cartoon Network. Yeah. Uh, I'm currently the new voice of Pegasus on the uh, Uncut Redub of Sailor Moon that Biz Media is doing. It is airing in January in Japan, and it's confirmed that they're bringing all the staff back and everything for Studio Bones, which is excellent because they do great stuff. But yeah, so otherwise, if you guys have any questions, we're just gonna us. yeah, we're just gonna do this. This panel is gonna be mostly Q and A uh, about Mob, but anything else that you have questions about, yeah. we'll answer those too. So do us a favor and line up at the microphone at the center right there, yeah. please. If you've got a question, just get in the line right in the middle of that. Don't be shy. Right in that center aisle. Come on up. And if nobody has any questions, this is going to be a very short panel. Hi! Okay, that's funny, and we love that. Because that's, that's, that was the, the, the thing, that was, that was the thing. Whenever I was in the booth, we would all just kind of do... <laughs> um, but that doesn't quite work most of the time for Mom, so we always had to change it. But my favorite, that and, and the, the little, just one mouth, open mouth reaction. Well recycled garbage. Yeah. So that made any sense. What about you? 
Marissa, you are one of the most humble and, and, and just genuine, all nice people I know. Oh, stop, I'm, I'm really so I don't see. I don't, I, I don't see the similarity. Hey, who's that? Hey, welcome. Oh, we, we, need, we need Mike for you. Yeah, well, while we do that, you, do, you continue. Okay. Uh, so my answer to the question is, uh, uh, Bob is so sweet and innocent and pure, and I don't think that I have those qualities necessarily, but uh, he's very shy around girls, oh, yeah. uh, which I definitely can relate to, at least, at least could have related to in, in my single uh, and, uh, and And he's not very athletic, and neither am I. So, I'm, I can relate to those, those qualities. You try. You try. Hey, is the mic on now? Hi. Hi. All right. Hey. Welcome. Hi, thanks. Who are you? What, what did I miss? <laughs> not, not a lot. Did you answer three questions? Just a couple questions. Okay. okay. All right. Hi, everybody. My name is Max. Is he going to answer the question or do uh, I am just... voice I'm, I'm fine. Okay, yeah. I don't know if you guys are like, do you need your question? <laughs> Yeah, I was hoping it was one hundred and not something else. Yeah, <laughs> not got one thousand. No, much like a one punch. Yeah. Yeah, no, that's right. Yeah. That's right. Speaking so, of which, tell them the other things you're in. Uh, the other things I'm in, I'm in uh, One Punch Man. I play Saitama, the One Punch Man. Woo! Yeah, I'm in that. Uh, yeah, that's 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 that
I guess it could be like that where it like kind of jumps back and forth. That'd be very, if it was the three of us, I mean, Sorich sounds very different from any of the three of us. So what if it was one of those things where it's like one of us records records it all first and then the other one has to Oh, like, uh, like, 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 like the fusion like carriers? Yeah, 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 yeah that's that 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 interesting. Well, one of the very minor things I know, I, so I don't read the manga, uh, it's not legally available yet, coming soon. For yeah. Me, of course. Um, but I do know that there's a character later who like is like my intern, and I think Dimple possesses him a lot or something. Like big did notice, so that might be an opportunity once season two happens. We'll see. But uh, I don't know. I guess that'll depend on also what the Japanese would do with the voice. Yeah, that's what I mean. Like in your professional opinion. In my professional opinion, I think it would probably mostly be Sorich if it's Dimple speaking through them, and then it would be the actual character. Probably because it was not. And I, I got it. I was like, oh, okay. 
okay, and then I watched the whole show, and I was like, oh, I love this, oh my god. No. And, uh, you know, and then I, I, I fell madly in love, and then Mom's like, I want to go through my head five beautiful children. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so I, uh, I did not know anything about the show until I got the audition sides, and then I went and, for the, for the first time, actually, watched the first episode of the show before recording an audition, because I could tell from the, looking at the artwork, I was like, hey, this looks like One Punch Man. One Punch Man is great. I want to be in the next One Punch Man. Yeah. Um, we didn't get to be, well, you were in One Punch Man. I was in it very briefly. Yeah, that's really cute. Who, who are you in One Punch? Uh, Blue Fire. Oh, you had a name to remember? You, you were one of the human, part of the heroes. Yeah, I'm one of the heroes who shows up to save the day and the day is already been saved. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I didn't even know you had a named character. I did, but again, oh, four lines. Oh, Blue Fire. That's fire. That's Man, yeah. see, now I'm upset because I was I was always saying, oh, it'd be cool if like when One Punch Season Two happens, it'd be cool if like Kyle and I got to be like a pair of characters or something as kind of a reference or whatever. It'd be kind of fun. But you're a guy. Sorry. Right. The damn. Uh, <laughs> Man, I don't know if you know this, but uh, Ray Chase auditioned for Dr. Chinos uh, and booked it in One Punch Man, and then he auditioned for Pori Pori Prisoner and booked it. Yep. Yeah. In One Punch Man. Yeah. So, I don't think you can't play two characters. That's yeah, true. fair enough. You know, I, I, and actually, Ray Chase is um, uh, Onigawara, the, the greaser punk guy in Mob Psycho. Uh, dude, I'm, I'm such a like like closet fanboy of Ray, because he's so good. He's like, <laughs> the nicest guy. I, I remember Ray's also, of course, he's not because of Punk Fantasy 15. He's a big thing you've known before. But he's, he's an excellent guy. Super nice dude. Did so. that, that answer your question? Uh, I think everybody, like, Oh, I know. Uh, I know. Really yes. Okay. Sorry. We went on for 80 years. No, that's no, no, no. I, I enjoyed that. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, you sir. First week, can I say I love the dog vlog? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Sir, could you step up so much closer to my window? Thank you. Uh, my question is, what do you guys do to get the right mindset for your characters? Are there any lines or specific things that you do to get the do you guys remember, uh, I, I, we have references before each session, so uh, we get to hear our lines, and usually it's like the same lines played over and over again before each session, so we'll use that to get into character. What was the line that kind of was making its way around the internet from Ritsu? I was like, <laughs> dude, sorry dude, tough break. Sorry dude, tough yeah. break. I think that might have been one of my reference lines, so I would start each session with, sorry dude, tough break. <laughs>
cheated and said my wife, so I don't know what you're talking about. I'm not gonna... Uh, of all time, my top waifu ever in the whole wide... Peter Parker. <laughs> my... Give me a second. Gotta think about it. Uh, my waifu... And I will go back to that. I will when I when it comes to me. He'll just call you on the phone at like tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Slippy from Star Fox. Slippy from Star Fox. What? 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 Yes. Slippy and M Zero from Mega Man X were like the two characters that like friends went over love. Oh, I thought they were girls. You were the first. Wait, wait. Yeah. Slippy, Slippy is a boy character. Oh, really? <laughs> it's a female. Yeah. Oh, there you go. I said I was a Yeah. <laughs> Fine. That's Slippy. one years later. Oh, oh nice. thank you. Thank you. Then 
like three or four years later, I heard that song on the radio and I was like, I thought I made that song up. <laughs> and it was, I don't know how it goes. Which is, yeah, my favorite anime. Okay. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> circle back to the anime related music question though, uh, I I had the the theme song from Your Lie in April as my ringtone for the line. So, uh, but but more often it's not the theme song from that show that gets stuck in my head. It's one of those touching little piano interludes that's used as the score to it. Great shit. Watch your line in April. Do it. Do it. <laughs> You know, very constantly, uh, Chala had Chala from Dragon Ball Z, and like, I, mean, I remember, I, I, I watched that, I saw that in Spanish first, because uh, Telemundo used to play the, uh, the Mexican Spanish dub, I say that because there were multiple Spanish dubs. Did you know, uh, of Dragon Ball Z, and I heard Chala had Chala in Spanish first, and then I found, like, midis of it, uh, like, online in, like, the 90s, and then, like, I, like, fell in love with that song, and I would, like, play it in my head every morning, like, morning stop the school and stuff. And I still love it. It's an excellent song. I've heard of Kage I've never seen this. Actually, are you, are you finding it? it? I'm trying to find... There was a, another song that I uh, had stuck in my head. And I, tried, I recorded it on the voice note when I was at. And, um, dang it! I can't find it. I, like but, uh, I, know, I, I was in session. I was literally in session and I was like, oh, what is this song? And it was plaguing me for like two weeks, I'm not kidding, and then I was in the shower and I was like, I figured it out! Uh, and it was the Kirby thing from Nintendo. Uh, I, I can't remember how it goes now. Oh my god. That is insensitive, sir! 
sir. <laughs>
Funimation doesn't get the new Yuhaku the new Yu Yuhaku show thing and I hear like anybody else getting it, I will literally be like, just give it to them. And please I need that cast back because Justin Cook as Yusuke like basically single handedly inspired me to want to do voiceover. Series and it looks really cool. The animation is, looks awesome, and I'm really excited. I love that show. I also like if you, if you guys have ever heard of Benjamin Mongolian Chomp Squad, that's, about, that's, that's, a, that's a cool show. It's a little more than Scare Shine, but I, I like that show as well. So. Uh, uh, well, I mentioned I mentioned Death Note a second ago, but it's pretty mainstream. But I guess well, the other one I'm going to mention is pretty mainstream too. But Gundam Wing is my favorite. Which one? The Thousand Thousand. Gundam Wing. Gundam Wing. Oh, Gundam Wing. Okay. Yeah.
but I very much look at this all the time. So, yes, I understand. Yeah, I move around in the booth a lot, and, and any time that the character is moving on the screen when we're doing a, a dub, I'm, whatever their physicality is, I will mimic that to try and help capture the performance. Meaning, this is 